Hello Internet World, welcome to a new video on the Geek and Noise channel. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Alcatel 1S. This is a very cool budget end, entry level smartphone that is packed full of features. I can't wait to show you it. Full disclosure as always, Alcatel very kindly sent this in free of charge for this video. They haven't asked to pre-approve the content or for me to say anything in particular. I'm going to share with you my honest opinion. Let's jump straight into the video and take a closer look at the product. This is what the smartphone looks like and it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, for the price point, you are getting a lot for your money. So this is a Google Android smartphone. We're looking at the screen at the moment, which is a 6.22 inch HD plus screen with a 19 to nine aspect ratio. Little tiny cutout in the top there that you can see for the camera. A uh, tiny sort of dew drop um, cut out, very, very small. Uh, round on the back, worth showing you this straight away. I'm going to show you some photos taken with these cameras. We've got three cameras on the back. Inside, we have got an eight core processor, also a 4000 milliamp hour battery, and a fingerprint sensor on the back as well. It does offer up Face ID. I don't particularly like Face ID personally. Uh, but Face ID is there if you want to use it. Now, just to quickly touch on battery life, the 4,000 milliamp hour battery on a smartphone with these specifications is fantastic. It will keep it running easily a day to a day and a half. If you're a low to medium user, you'll probably get two days of use between charges, which is very good for a smartphone. Uh, now, let's demonstrate that fingerprint reader, which resides on the back. It is just underneath where your index finger would uh, would land so let's turn the screen off and then we just touch it and it wakes up every single time let me just show you it side on so touch wake up touch and it wakes up I've had a hundred percent accuracy it's not the fastest of fingerprint readers but it is very accurate and there's only a tiny sort of millisecond delay between you touching it and it waking up so very pleased uh, with the uh, performance and accuracy of the fingerprint sensor. Very pleased with the quality of the screen. It does go up nice and bright. So if we just um, pull this brightness all the way up, you'll see my camera try to adjust for the brightness. It is really readable in outdoor sunlight. They've done a fantastic job on the quality of the screen. Now, this particular smartphone also supports all of the Google apps, including the Play Store. So you can install pretty much uh, whatever you want and it's got a nice turn of speed as well. Nice transitions between the screens. You'll see a little bit of lag if you've got lots of browser tabs open, maybe a lot of apps going at the same time. You do get some frame drops, but very, very minimal. Now, before we move on to showing you some of the photos I've taken with this, let's talk about the fit and the finish. So it's primarily a plastic smartphone, uh, sort of got plastic around the outside edge, volume control, uh, power on off switch, Around the back it is glossy, so it does show up some fingerprints, although it does a pretty good job of hiding them because of this effect they've got on the back, sort of like this space grey with a slight glitter to it, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we've also got uh, the SIM card tray, 3.5mm audio jack, and we've also got micro uh, USB on the bottom for charging. So a full array of ports and a really nice layout on this phone and it, the fit and finish feels very good. Because of the 19.9 aspect ratio, it does feel quite tall in the hand, tall in the hand uh, but it's not top heavy or anything because overall it's quite a lightweight smartphone. So I think you'll be fine with this sort of size. It is difficult to reach that top left hand or top left hand corner with your thumb so you do have to readjust sometimes but overall it's a very good experience. Now I mentioned about the camera. Uh, the, the camera is quite slow to actually focus and take the photo. Uh, not very slow, but slower than some of the higher end flagship smartphones. But once you see the photos, you'll appreciate how good the cameras are on a phone at this price point. This is exceptionally good. We've got so, so much detail in the photos and the colours are very natural. Just the right balance of colours uh, and plenty of detail, not over sharpened in any way. Just real nice amount of detail. Uh, this one was a little bit overexposed but we are getting some blur in the background as well. Uh, this one the colours spot on. Very very good colours on that one. Uh, again this one I was trying to capture this uh, wasp 
or I think it's a wasp or a worker bee, something like that. And I just about captured it. And you've got some nice detail in there as well. Very, very cool indeed. So really pleased with the amount of detail that's captured and the quality of the photos. Uh, on the Alcatel website, it says about the quality of the photos from this smartphone. And I thought it was just marketing spill, but it's not. It is really very, very good indeed just amazed at how they can do this at this price point uh, so so impressed very very impressed indeed so you're getting the full android experience you're getting an absolutely superb little smartphone here that's got a really nice screen good results from the camera great battery life in fact fantastic battery life and i'd rate this very highly because i just can't find a reason why uh, or how i should say they do this at this price point. It begs to differ that why would you spend so much money on a flagship smartphone or even a, a mid-tier smartphone uh, when this does everything you need. It is absolutely superb. So this is the Alcatel One S. Uh, really impressed. Uh, well worth checking out. I think if you're in the market for a budget end smartphone you don't want to spend a lot of money then this is well worth considering. Alcatel have come a long way since their early days of the little tiny candy bar smartphones and flip phones. Uh, they've come a long, long way. This is a great offering from them and well worth checking out. So that is it for my review. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, this has been the live broadcast. Uh, Alexandros in the live chat. The phones are very underrated. Uh, fingerprint reader is far better than my Samsung Note 10 Lite. Well, there you go. Thank you very much for adding that uh, comment in the live chat, Alexandros. Uh, if you are watching this after the live broadcast, then please do use the regular comment section below. If you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. And there are links to where you can purchase this particular smartphone down in the video description, description and also a link to the Alcatel website. So please do check that out as well. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.